Our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the featherweight division. A rematch from a controversial split decision between Sergei Adamchuk and Alexei Ulyonov. So here's our tale of the tape for this featherweight showdown. It's a rematch, both men in their early 30s. Similar height, similar reach. Alexei Ulyonov with a three-inch reach advantage. They both weighed in identically at 143 pounds. Professional experience, the edge going to Sergei Adamchuk with 52 fights. Also, knockout power going to Adamchuk, but Ulyanov with over 100 amateur fights, which is really impressive. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're scheduled for three three minute rounds in Glory's featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He began his Glory career on a five game winning streak as a professional. 40 wins with just 12 losses, 15 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At 5 feet 8 and 1 half inches, 1.74 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Ukraine by way of the Netherlands, he is the former featherweight champion of the world. He is Sergei Adamchuk. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the wide corner, a Russian national and Tatnev Cup champion. As a professional, 29 wins, seven losses, one draw, and seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, 1.76 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Kusvas, Russia, here is Alexei Uliano. The referee in charge of this bout at Sushi, Onari. Hey, wait up. Okay, this is uh, same as Sri Lanka, okay? Uh, this is glory rule. Okay. Good fight. Joe, who do you give the edge to in this rematch? Well, it's a tough one because the first one was so close. <laughs> Both technical, but I'm going slight edge. I have to say Adam Chuck, to be honest with you. I mean, the way he moves, the way he pressures, okay. but if Ulyanov can be first, like he said, I think it's going to be uh, another close one here. Okay. 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 Atsushi hey. Onari is our referee tonight. Scheduled for three rounds. Featherweight division. Adam Chuk in the blue and gold colors of Ukraine. As for Ulyanov, he's in the red trunks with white gloves. Okay. Fight! Corner yelling, be first. Yeah, I think the, when they rewatched that last fight, both wish they were a little bit more active. So you're going to see both of the corners yelling at them to be first. Nice Good combo. combo there from Sergei. Very nice. Uliana, if every time he sees Joe Valtellini, he's got some homemade whiskey for you. What's that all about? I don't know. They, his dad makes it in Kuzbas, so he brings it uh, every show for me. Which I appreciate. It's made from okay. cherries, I believe. Yeah, cherries, and they're explaining how it's made. Good stuff. Says we'll be says safe some for me. We'll be drinking it tonight back at the hotel. But it's not going to be easy to beat someone as tactically sound as Adam Chuck. But what I'm liking from Ulyanov is his boxing. I mean, the way he's moving, his angling. I think that's one of the biggest improvements I'm seeing right now from him. Trying to sneak that knee on the inside as well with Ulyanov. Thank you. Good high kick from Adam Chuk. Ulyanov, to his credit, did not put his guard down. Now, speaking to Ulyanov and his team, you know, most people hate fighting southpaws. They don't want them, and they usually get one or two in their career. Ulyanov's last six fights were against southpaws, so. That's incredible. He's more, he's used to it now. He's more comfortable with it, so this could be another advantage for coming in. This fight starting to look a lot like the first one. Extremely close. Strikes landed. Strikes thrown. 
Just as one guy lands a nice combo, the other lands a nice one back. Adam Chip known, known for his rolling thunder at the end of every fight. Maybe you should try it right in the middle. Yeah, change it up. But Ulyanov being first is working. It's starting to work here in this later part of this first round. Double knee there from Ulyanov. Fifteen seconds to go here in round one. Nice digging to the body there from Adam Chuck. Joe, how do you score that first round? I have no clue. I thought early on in the first round, I thought it was Adam Chuck. The second half, I thought Uliana. So I'm split. They both took half a round each. Under an hour to go before Glory Collision 3. And for Ulyanov, my keys for him is, like we've been mentioning, be first, manage that distance, be long or be in. Don't just stand there. He's got to control that range and be complete, which means use his punch, kicks, and knees. With Adam Chuck, it's adaptable. Adaptable means pressure or move. He's got to mix them up. But today, I think it's going to have to be about pressuring and countering back, keep him busy, and use those southpaw tactics. Circle outside or circle inside, but he's got to use those kicks and straights. And also, if you've been following Glory's social media, you know that later tonight, Bader Hari will be joining me and Joseph Baltolini here ringside for the co-main event and the main event tonight on Collision 3. I'm excited for that. You get nervous around him. I do. He's a big star for me. <laughs> hey! You're, you might be an even bigger star by the time the night's over. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think. <laughs> Can't wait to see these uh, open scoring, the open scores from our judges. I have a feeling they'll be split. Has to be. Or they saw something else we didn't see. It's hard to get five people to agree on anything nowadays. Yeah, I like Uliana circling outside, then he circles inside. That's what the fighting a southpaw is all about. So here we go. The judges scores. Indeed, they were split. Four giving it to the Russian, one to Adam Chuk. Yep, and I think this round is finishing off like that first one where Ulyanov's boxing and boxing activity mixes in the knees. He's not kicking as much, but the hands are working well. The knees are mixing in. When you talk about evenly matched opponents, the picture in the dictionary will show these two guys. Absolutely. I mean, I would still, like, I mean, Uvianov's glory debut was against hey. Pech Panamarum, and it was a close fight, <laughs> split decision, you know what I mean? So that's why Uvianov is so, you know, wanting another shot. You know Pech Panamarum, Kiat Mukau is somewhere watching this fight, most likely Thailand. Number three, Uvianov. Number seven, Adam Shook. Ulyanov wasn't kidding about being first. He's been first almost every exchange. By the way, 90 landed strikes for Ulyanov, 90 landed strikes for Adam Chuk right now. Adam Chuk with a little counter there. I like the way each corner is, is cheering for every strike that lands, trying to maybe sway the judges a little bit. Oh, yeah, you have to. Serhey walks right into that right knee. Yeah, Ulyanov, outside, inside. When he circles to the inside, he likes to mix the knee. Yeah, see how he steps inside, throws that knee. But what you see, Adam Chuck is trying to counter that knee with some big punches. Ulyanov needs to be careful. Set them up, use good timing, which he has been doing really well. These rounds are so close that if you win the last 10 seconds of the round, you, you probably be. win it. Yeah, could be. 
I think this was Ulyanov's round. Stop. I'm not as torn as the first one. Still close round, definitely, but I just felt like Ulyanov did a little bit more. As we jump into our fighting profiles, Alexei Ulyanov fighting out of Kuzbas, Russia, which is also the home of the light heavyweight champion, Artem Bahitov. They train together, they work out together, and it's worked out as Ulyanov has won four of his last five. Sir, hey, Adam Chuck with Big Mike in the corner, former Glory featherweight champs, been around, you know, a long time. We've seen him in here many times, and he's one of these guys that he's jumped up to lightweight, featherweight. He's a scrapper, always ready. When he gets the call, he'll take it. And speaking of the light heavyweight champion, there he is, Joe, Artem Vahitov. The spotlight's always on him. Yeah. There he is. The hand is healthy. That's the main thing. Of course, he beats. Pereira, Alex Pereira, hey! to win the title. <laughs> Round three as Adam Chuk comes out aggressive, lands a left hook. All five giving that one to Uliano. So Adam Chuk needs a knockdown here in round three. Joe, how does he get it? Good luck answering that one. Yeah, it's been tough, but if it's going to happen, I think it's with a counter to the knee. As Uliano throws the knee, he catches him with a punch. Ulyanov looks sharp, man. The way he's moving, his angling, his hands are on fire tonight. And that, I think that's definitely the biggest improvement. The way he uses his hands, the boxing, the way he's setting up the knees, mixes in the round kick, inside, outside. Stop! Stop. Hey! <laughs> Both look like they're sending an SOS distress signal on a telegraph. Okay, da, 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 da. Another thing Ulyanov hey. was working on was getting bigger and stronger. There is some rolling thunder. We hey. promised he delivered. Never seems to land, does it? I think he landed once and we, we lost it when he did it. <laughs> <laughs> it was our most, one of our most exciting moments. Well, that is a spectacular technique. If he yep. lands it, it's worth a lot. Wait. That's right. Left, followed by a straight right from Ulyanov, and then a knee. Look how comfortable. Now he's even switching stances for a moment, playing with the, the, the lead hand a little lower, which you really don't see in kickboxing. Hey! When it comes to knees, all one-way traffic. Ulyanov, 16 landed out of 23. And a good one there. Thank you. Now he's looking for a guillotine choke. I feel like Ulyanov's trying to bully him a little bit. Maybe it's working. Well, I think he's drawing him into things. You notice that Adam Chuck's coming forward, and what Ulyanov's doing is just taking little subtle angles, finding the right strikes. Looks like some blood on the hairline of Ulyanov. He keeps covering it up. Oh, yeah, big cut. Uh oh. Pretty deep. Deep, but I wouldn't really say bad. Bunting, Not too bad. Bunting is, bunting is oh, hey. Accidental headbutt. Continue. Yes. They're gonna let him go. Yep, 32 seconds left. Hey! So what happens when you taste your own blood, Joe? Do you, do you surrender or do you get even more angry? Well, it depends how it happened. I think with an accidental headbutt, 30 seconds left. I mean, you play it out. Try not to think about it. Well, you can see Ulyanov continuing to paw at it, and that could spell doom as Adam Chuk's coming, guns blazing as he should be. Hey! Hey! Not catch. Ulyanov celebrating already. Yep, close. Gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. They score this bout 30 27, Ulyanov, 29 28, Adamchuk. 
And our three remaining judges all have it. 30-27 for your winner by split decision. Alexi Uliano. So not a lot of controversy this time, Joe. How do you feel about that decision? Well, I think it was the right one. I thought he looked good and impressive, and I'm excited to see what's next for Uliano. Yeah, I'm excited to hear what he has to say through an interpreter. He's with Mark Schaff. I'm here with your winner, Alexei Ulyanov. Alexei, it was a close match again. What was different than the match before? Алексей, да, что очень был близкий бой. Какая какая разница между первым и этим боем? Я выиграл этот бой. I just won this fight. But were you sharper? Were you? What was the difference between last time and this one? Какая была разница между первым боем и этим? Ну, я пришел сильнее, я пришел лучше. Я вырос за эти два года, я не просто стоял на месте. В эту пандемию я тренировался. Я также боксировал на местных чемпионатах. Я вижу, что я развиваюсь. И в скором будущем я заберу пояс. You know, I just came more stronger. I came, uh, you know, more confident. For sure, I didn't stop my uh, training uh, during the COVID pandemic. I was training for sure, and I'm going to uh, take a belt. Now, the last time you two fought uh, each other, the winner got a chance against Patch Punamaroon. Is that what you want? Прошлый раз, когда ты боксировал, и ты точно знал, что победитель будет боксировать за пояс с Кит Макао. Хочешь ли ты этого сейчас? Yes. <laughs> very short, but very, very convenient. Хочу сказать спасибо Сереге, что за две недели он принял вызов. И хочу сказать в отношении голландских спортсменов 65 килограмм это просто сачки все. Uh, very big respect to Sergey because he took this fight uh, just before two weeks before uh, before the event and I want to say uh, to say all other Dutch fighters they are just you know um, they just out from my fight so we we just try to search uh, who want to fight with me. Give it up for your winner, Alexei Ulyanov!